Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hirathullah with another new video of Teclatex. In this lecture, I am just going to show that how well design and analysis a isolated footing or single footing by using a CI code. So to design that, first of all, you have to select from here the code USA. Then from here, we'll click New, and here I'll just go to Concrete or foundation so i'll click here after that i'll just click here footing analysis and design and after that i'll just come here okay and simply i'll click continue sorry calculate after that we have to wait for some time so here we are here and we are seeing that geometry first of all footing type which types of footing the pad or steep so the pad type footings okay and uh, has a length and width and depth we will um, take that value later and here first of all depth of soil at how much depth we will use I mean what will be the foundation level so I'll consider it's uh, three feet I mean 36 inch and soil properties what will the soil properties is the allowable bearing pressure q allowable gross or net okay what will be the net or gross so if i consider this is gross then consider that that, that is 3 ksf okay or 2 ksf our be bearing capacity of soil is 2 ksf density of soil over footing that is 100 uh, 120 pound per feet and here angle of internal friction of soil angle of internal friction and angle of base friction so if you want to add that you can add otherwise you can sorry for disturbance so here uh, as per your design code you can do that and consider passive resistance of soil against sliding so if you want to consider that you have to click here if you have a chance of sliding okay you can use that and on uh, the lateral pressure method so it is the rakhine columbar user defense so if you consider that rakhine then horizontal acceleration factor here 0.4 vertical acceleration factor k s and kv 0 so you have to provide that value as per design requirement so that for column you can uh, use the angle okay angle of friction and here user different it's up to you you have to provide that value as per your requirement so I'll not consider that uh, we have no sliding problem okay so if you are uh, constructing that foundation nearest hill or anywhere then you can use that option so this is okay after that i will just simply click okay so soil properties is okay right there's a column details now we'll use your column and uh, first of all we'll use the calculation option asce american society for civil engineers 710 load combination okay and uh, if you click here we are able to update that so here see they have many combination okay they have many combination so if you need that you can use that combination this is the combination that many combination asce uh, 75 if, if you use that it will upload just see uh, here it's up uploaded so like that dead dot and for live dot and also ibc international um, building code then asc 7 uh, 16 so actually it's depend on you that uh, which types of code you will select or how to not select okay so here i am considering asce 710 like that and factor of safety over uh, safety overturning so you can change that analysis only if you click here it will use analysis only but will design right so here uh, factor of safety consider 1.5 sorry 1.5 and factor of safety against sliding 1.5 both were considered 1.5 
okay so here only we'll consider uh, live load and dead load so i'll just click okay okay and simply we can click here for review result analysis and here column details when it's done then we have to add column details so i'll click here for column details this is the most important part okay so length okay this is the uh, details of column one so for column one we'll provide consider this 10 ins into 10 ins column okay position in x axis 45 and position in y axis 24 inch so actually uh, before providing that okay before providing that i will just click ok vertical load cannot be zero close okay so first of all i will consider the footing size okay. so here i am consider footing in l direction consider that is six feet and in uh, y direction that is four feet and depth first of all i'll consider that is 15 or uh, okay 15 is right and density of concrete 150 dead load uh, search charts if they have any search charts okay dead load search charts so uh, we can consider our dead load search charts is 100 psf and a live load search charts we can consider uh, that is 40 psf actually you have to uh, take that value as per your requirement actually so when it's done when it's done now uh, every data is okay just we have to provide that column details so i'll just click add so here so at middle point okay at uh, first of all we will design our that column at middle point okay so the length this is length 12 inch into 12 inch column or also we can consider 10 inch into uh, 15 inch column okay 10 into 15 or we can consider um, okay first of all we can consider 10 into 10 column when it's done then position at x direction so what will be the position so we are considering that our our uh, slab i mean our column are in middle point of our foundation and here the axial load column one okay and this is for horizontal load if they have any horizontal load and here moment on base okay moment on base so first of all what we'll do we'll just give it the vertical axial load vertical dead load okay so what will be the dead load if we consider that our dead load will be um, 40 kip and live load also will be 40 kip we can consider that actually so uh, this is okay and again horizontal load on base so if there have any horizontal load you can calculate and moment on base if you have any moment okay here we have any moment in x direction moment in y direction moment for dead load and moment for live load so you can add here so i will not add but if you need to add that you can just simply add like uh, 20 and for y axis for dead load so consider that 12 like that then simply click ok so our load is ok and if you click here it will show you the calculated result okay so here we see here we see it's showing the diagram and here we see it's showing us the load combination result so for first combination it's also fail for soil bearing pressure okay the resisting to factor of safety 1.99 and applied at 3.8 okay so for that what we can do that we can increase our length 8 and uh, LX and wait for some time and uh, that is 6 and wait uh, so it's almost near okay uh, even we need some here uh, if we decrease the discharge okay uh, load dead load so if i consider that is 
or 10 if you consider that is 10 now see what happened actually now it's uh, almost okay and 40 40 so again I have to increase that 8 into if I consider that 8 feet 8 feet into 8 feet now see what happened uh, it's 2.33 even uh, we need to increase the size little bit more but uh, we can see in the edit option to review our dead total livelihood that's almost okay and uh, what happened if we consider no moment are acting here okay so okay and okay it's calculating so wait for some time so now it's okay now it's absolutely okay now what we can do that we can again come here six and for that one so uh, there are no option to use six so we have to use eight by eight and if we use eight by eight then i hope it's okay otherwise we can use one point on for game it's, it's okay so our size and everything is okay as per load okay and also if i increase at 12 to 12 I mean thickness of foundation in 12 then see is there have any problem or anything so it's also okay at 10 for 10 inch 10 inch foundation depth i will consider that it, it is okay or not so i will consider that uh, okay 12 inch 12 inch foundation on fit foundation depth for that provided load and i hope it will be okay so when all everything is okay now i'll just go for that pass and for that load also passed so i'll just go for next okay so here the reinforcement and i'll click here preview result okay so wait for some time it's calculating the design result so here result and uh, here uh, some reinforcement have provided 10 nose 6 bottom bar okay 10 number 6 bottom bar at the rate of 9.9 .9 inches center to center we are seeing here the design axis x and for design axis uh, x they have a failure okay uh, share two way okay so they have a share failure okay they have a share failure for um, they have a two load and you can change the design option so for which combination you want to use so this is okay and also you can change your um, design code as per record and i'm just cancelling so material details what were the materials concrete materials so three and lightweight and the nominal cover to reinforcement the three inch so as that is connected to soil or earth then that is three inch so everything is okay and wet for the calculating result so here uh, reinforcement diagram uh, has the reinforcement diagram shared diagram so it is the shared diagram and also moment diagram this is the moment diagram for our foundation and this is the reinforcement diagram and for x-axis so um, as this is a symmetric foundation that's why in every direction everything is okay so here for finally i'll just go here reinforcement detailing because it's failing in share so area of bottom reinforcement provided 4.4 inch but required is 2.2 so what we can do that so how do you can do that so if you want to provide top bar okay if you want to provide top bar just see requirement is zero that means no no requirement of top bar i'll just close and for bottom also i'll check so requirement is zero right so also i'll just ignore that what i'll do the num i will use number uh, five bar also here i will use number five bar and the mm, bottom bar this is the spacing number 10 okay uh as the number 10 i mean 9.9 uh, .9 inch spacing and for bottom also 9.9 .9 inch spacing so 10 10 bar that is okay actually so i'll just click okay and here it's failing in punching shear 
okay it's failing punching share i'll just wait here little bit here uh, failing for punching share so i'll just go sorry uh, for share it's failing in column two way uh, column one i will just come here and i will increase 15 okay i'll just come here for 15 and i'll go next and see is it okay or not i'll just go next so wait for some time please just see now it's okay when we have provided everything is okay okay in this way actually you can design your foundation perfectly uh, with perfect value as per SA code then simply click finish and watch what, what, what happened here actually so here the foundation and if we go down this is share diagram and this is moment diagram and this is shared moment diagram for another function and here is the footing dimension I mean footing reinforcement detailing so in this way you are able to design a footing perfectly without any problem so thank you thank you very much as well stay connected till next video